welcome. I have a bumper Arteja review today. So we have the retractable gel pens, which there is 20 of. They look a bit like a biro pen, um, but they are gel pens. So you've got all these lovely colours in there and lots and lots of choice. We have these 14 glitter gel pens. Again, a nice arrangement of colours and perfect for these next two things that we're going to have a look at. Then we have a double pack of these 72 sheet colouring books. They are 100 pounds, so 150 gram paper. They are six by six um, or six by 6.4 by 6.4. So they're a little square, handy colouring book that you can have on the go. And it has this elastic little mechanism that I think is nice and handy if you have in your handbag and you don't want them to keep getting flipped up in there and things going inside and things interacting with them so it's a nice little handy thing to have to keep them down so what we're going to do is we're going to have a little flip through of the two coloring books and as I said you can get these either singly and I've got all the links in the description as I have said in the past the links are at no extra cost for you it is just completely there for convenience and there is a small kickback and we can keep doing these uh, reviews and bringing you new products to see if anything entices you and something that you would really like in your own collection then we're going to have a little swatch of both these uh, glitter gel pens and retractable gel pens. So we're going to swatch those out after we flip through these two. And these are something that I am going to test out in live streams. And I will put the links in the live streams as well. So these are a pack of four water brushes. There is two types of water brushes that you can get from Artasia. So there is this type, which I have previously purchased over the Black Friday sales, and I use these all the time. And they have quite big sets. So when I'm talking about that, what I mean is these brush ends are large. And I personally always opt and prefer these sort of finer tips that look like that and I tend to use them over the other ends and when I saw these I thought these would be a good little pack because you get fine fine sort of a little tiny bit thicker and a little bit thicker than that but they're all still on the fine tip like the actual ends are finer and that is better for those of us that use them for our colouring books because we have a lot of detail and they're easy to sort of get into all the detail rather than these big thick brush ends it's like I think these are more suitable personally um, but I'd get both which I have done uh, so I use these on a regular basis but I only use the finest ones in my collection and then this one we can use kind of all of them so I'll be more reviewing these and giving you my final thoughts in live streams but that's just with the water brushes this is going to be i'll put the links for those as well but this is all going to be about the flip throughs the swatches and a demonstration on one of the illustrations using both of these products so i think they go hand in hand because they're both gel pens one's glitter if you want for the extra glitter one is um you know matte sort of colours and really colourful nice selections so we're going to have a little demonstration on one of the illustrations in one of these two books but just for the moment we're going to have a little flip through of both of these so we have two here we have the unique mandala illustrations and we have the unique floral illustrations there's 72 sheets in both both are 6.4 inches by 6.4. They're both on 100 pound or 150 gram paper. And they both have this elastic little bit here so you can keep them nice and safe and they keep, you know, in your on the go or in your collection. They don't keep flipping open and they're nice and secure for you. So the backs do have the um, little bit of information you can scan the qr codes you can get some helpful tips and uh, you've also got the um 
Artasia information on the back. So we're going to have a little flip through of both of these, enjoy them, and then we will have a swatch out of both of the packs of the gel pens. So let's have a look inside these first. <music>
Okay, so these are your colours. Um, the first 20 are the retractable gel pens. Now, on looking, you'd say this is like a biro regular pen, but the ink that comes out is definitely a gel pen like ink. And the second row is your glitter ones. And if the camera is picking that up well, there is a high shine and high glitter content in them. So they do have a great amount of glitter coming off that ink and if the camera is good to you you will be able to see that now on your screens so don't judge too much on me um having a little you know go at them because we can't base a review on a swatch because i'm just getting the the ink out of them for the very first time so we're gonna have a little go on one of the mandalas now this is the colours that I've got to play with so I can have a look and refer to this as a kind of guide and find the right pen for it. I'm personally not going to worry about numbering them because I will pick them up to add little details in, in like frames, in small intricate details in my colouring pages, but on a whole I, I will use them as well for, you can use them for journaling, you can use them for many different reasons, you can use them for cards, you can use them for writing your pen pal notes if you still do that, you can do them in lots of things, your Christmas cards, your Easter cards, your Halloween cards, any cards, any journaling, any colouring books and any mandalas and any pattern that you might want to use them in they will be great for but we'll have a good go at them see how it feels and i'll see you back at the end and we'll do a full wrap up and how the picture came out
welcome back. So we have done the demo and we've just quickly filled a mandala in to see how the glitters and the retractable gel pens work and they flowed perfectly. The rollerball on them was just great. We didn't have any stops or scratchiness. My favourite out of the two would have to be the glitter gel pens. The glitter content, which is what I was trying to get, is just enormous. It's a high sheen. There is a high glitter content in them. And as you can tell with on the camera now, the amount in there with the colour pigment is just perfect. Bearing in mind that with colour pigment, it can sometimes override and take out the glitter uh, or you will have too much glitter and can't see much of the color pigment but it kind of has a mixture of both high glitter high pigment and a really nice lay down where there is no scratchiness and no working against you it works with you so that was just these are easily removable there's a glue bound top at the top of your book so you can just take them out anytime and or leave them in. It's entirely up to you. I took it out just to show you how nice and glittery that is. So I would give these my biggest recommendation out of all. I love these, but I think I'm going to use these more for journaling. I think they would be perfect for small doodles, for planning, for your calendars, for your working your weeks out what you're going to do I love both but this one I would say would be my journaling go-to this would be the mandala and coloring go-to the paper is really nice in these mandala books they're nice and simple relaxing to do so I hope that you enjoyed both the demo and to see the result I will leave all of the links in the description below for now I will bid farewell I will see you in the next Art Asia review on one of them and don't forget we still have to review these amazing brush pens which we will use in our live streams and I'll give you my full thoughts in there so thanks so much for watching take care everyone bye for now